a following video in the synthesizer project that I'm working on. I wanted to make a vibrato uni unit that's here. And I will show the schematic. And this is uh, for everyone following my channel. The base circuit of that kind of synthesizer. It will be very, very simple and easy. <coughs> only made with, uh, in a kind of way, simple um, A-stable multivibrators that with different capacitors can go to say between 300 Hertz and approximately uh, 15 kilohertz or so. The only idea will be to make peculiar sound effects and that's the aim, that will be the aim in this whole project. So here the vibrato unit. It's a very simple unit, I have published it earlier. Uh, as a lighthouse LED circuit and when you go to my YouTube channel to the looking glass and uh, search on the keyword lighthouse you will see this circuit again but now I had to uh, change it somewhat <coughs> by using not electrolytics but normal bipolar capacitors to make the vibrato uh, in a certain way. Well, let's listen how it sounds. And of course you can set, change the frequency. And important to tell that all this vibrato is added to a um, square wave oscillator, not to a sine wave oscillator. And I have to make and I will make a unit where the uh, <coughs> square wave is changed into a sine wave. And I, I have already made a video about it. Well, let's go to the schematic. The schematic of the vibrato unit is here. It's very simple, only made with two transistors, an NPN and a PMP transistor. And they send in their voltage to the multivibrator. That's important to tell. So there are two circuits here now. There is the multivibrator here and the vibra vibrato unit. And the signal of that uh, vibrato unit here is coupled in via a non-polar capacitor and a resistor of 1K in series to this point here in the multivibrator circuit. So the tone control uh, unit and the tone control unit is here. I published it many times but anyway this is of course a kind of uh, actual circuit so you can send in the vibrato signal the changing voltage and that changing voltage is here you can see it here this is the output of the vibrato unit. And uh, you can say send that uh, signal changing voltage in here in the multivibrator unit and also here. But here it gives a kind of normal effect, say uh, like an electronic organ. And here we have a strange sound. I will demonstrate that. The two different positions. Via a crocodile clip. And again the vibrator unit. Very easy. 
uh, by changing the value of this capacitor or that capacitor, the vibrato changes, etc., etc. This was the best way I found it out experimentally to change the vibrato. Anyway, so let's look and listen. I hope it will work in this demo. I have made, uh, like I told in an earlier video, a few switches that bridge the knobs. So, that's not good. That's strange. No good contact here, but anyway, other problem. Uh, perhaps I have to push more fierce. Um, I made uh, it in such a way that we can switch in here now a certain frequency uh, permanently. And that's of course a very good idea to uh, make a demonstration about the vibrato circuit. Here, this is more or less on the background. When I touch the knobs, you get more capacitance in the multi vibrator, so the frequency goes down. And you can set the frequency here. Uh, so, when you go to a higher value capacitor, smaller value capacitor, etc., etc. Uh, well, that was more or less important. Sound is a little bit annoying, to my opinion, because it's not a sine wave. So, it has sharp edges. Square waves, square wave sounds have sharp edges. And you can hear that. Not always a problem, but anyway, in an organ you can use it or not anyway. Sine waves uh, sound more smooth anyway. I want to demonstrate now. the effect of changing um, changing these capacitors. That's very important. These capacitors set the say the kind of vibration effect. So I want to uh, take one out here the 180 nanofarad out and then take the 120 nanofarad out and you will surely see that the frequency of the vibrato goes up. So let's listen and look. Take the 180 nanofarad out. Of course that's not say that's not a normal vibrato for an organ. And that means that this capacitor and that capacitor in the vibrato unit are more or less critical. You can switch in different uh, capacitors in that circuit. So now that 180 nanofarad capacitor is switched out. Now I switch the other capacitor out. And of course on the scope you can surely see what happens. We have in a certain way a kind of problematic, uh, problematic signal because here we have a kind of sharp etched um, square wave. Here it gets to a sine wave and here it gets to a kind of sharp etched sine wave again and you surely hear that at the, uh, when you uh, do this experiment you surely hear that so you hear a kind of sine wave not a kind you hear a multi vibrator 
uh, signal, but it's driven with this waveform. So that has an effect on the sound that finally is audible and also visible on the scope at the output of the multivibrator. So here. So it's driven now here with this strange uh, uh, voltage. An AC voltage, a, a certain wave with peculiar a peculiar form. So I will try to switch on the that capacitor again, that upper capacitor in the circuit, and I will also try to switch on when my camera doesn't drop the other uh, the other capacitor so that we now have again well we have again a kind of sharp edge but anyway and what I wanted to uh, show is the sound when you change when you change the connection from the vibrator unit to this position here. So it's now it's connected now via the one microwatt capacitor, the one K resistor to here to this connection, the one K resistor at the collector of the first uh, the second transistor or the first one, I think it doesn't matter anyway. But when you connect the crocodile clip here, you get an other type of sound. So let's listen. Here is the crocodile clip connected to the second transistor via that one microfarad capacitor and a hundred, sorry, a 1K resistor. And now it's connected to the uh, to the other part here in the row. We have all these capacitors in a row. So that's the green line. Let's listen and study. So this is a completely different effect, sound effect. This part of the synthesizer doesn't have an effect. The, um, the circuit is only connected to the first multivibrator, that's here, the first one. Anyway, consider it as amusement. That's so strange. <coughs> I need two hands, perhaps. I can give a somewhat better idea. So that you can surely hear that the transistor of the multivibrator is pinched off. And now I connect it again to the, say, the sine wave way, sine wave sound. It's more smooth, though I thought that uh, the sound is still a uh, kind the, the typical sound of a um, square wave oscillator. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope it was a little bit clear. And when you do these experiments, feel free to do all these experiments. In fact, nothing can go wrong with such a circuit. It always works, nothing can go wrong, only when you connect
for instance here the bass directly to the positive lead or in this case the directly to the negative lead because it's an NPN transistor the transistor will die when you and so uh, when it is a PM, sorry when it is an NPN transistor when you connect the base by accident comp uh, directly to the positive lead the transistor will die and when you you have a PMP transistor here like this the BC557 is a PMP transistor and you by accident connect the base directly to the minus the transistor will immediately die without any sound or whatever and this is also a very simple and properly working circuit thanks for watching